Hi guys, welcome to another video and uh, first of all a little bit of an apology to uh, you guys and of course to uh, Chris Tipa and Andreas from Pirate Brew Berlin. Uh, this review should have been uploaded after my uh, Pirate Porter review and then before the uh, Crazy Bastard Chili Porter review. But idiot here deleted the video and I like to upload videos in advance like a week or so in advance and I made the decision even though I could have got away with it um, of uploading a video in its place but thankfully um, after the festival um, some of the beers that appeared at the festival um, appeared at Beretta and I thought you know what I'll pick up another bottle, do another review, and uh, yeah, better later than never, I suppose. I don't know. So um, yeah, got my uh, festival pass again. I love this. I just, I could happily just walk around with this. Nobody would give a shit, to be honest, um, unless you're into craft beer. And then, then again, some people might not. But yeah, I just, it's a lovely little keepsake. And of course. Uh, accident I should add I didn't like purposely wear this t-shirt for the review I've got my Parrot Brew Berlin t-shirt on so uh, yeah picked this up in Beretta today actually and also got myself a craft beer festival glass which was used for the festival of course so I thought it's uh, quite fitting to do a review in my Parrot Brew Berlin t-shirt wearing my press pass and using the craft beer glass lovely teku absolutely love teku or stemmed glasses in general but you're not here to hear me talk about my glasses even now i'm thinking of doing a glass collection video um, just in case anybody wondered so uh, yeah oh god nelly dropped my glass then or knocked it over anyway back up to the review so this is the coffee pirate porter which is again using that base porter, the pirate porter, and then just adding coffee to the mix. And the coffee comes courtesy of Brewbox Berlin. And uh, yeah, this was brewed at the Foreman Brauerei, which I need to remember to put that information on my other two Pirate Brew Berlin uh, porter reviews. And uh, yeah, as always, beautiful artwork. I just, I just love its simplicity, I love the contemporary edge, and uh, when I was taking the label off the last bottle that I had, it was ripped, so I have uh, a second chance to get a nice uh, label, because I'm sad like that. And it's got a slightly, like, browny, goldy, black, blank cap. So clocking in at 5.6% ABV. And, uh, yeah, spoiler alert, I think this beer is, well, I'm not, not going to go there. You're going to have to see what I think of it. Unless you follow me on Untapped or anything like that. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, just get rid of that little bit of water. A little drop of water, I should say. Of course, I did a review of the Beaver Town Bloody L Blood Orange IPA about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. Maybe a bit longer, actually. Yeah, much longer. Um, so I just gave the glass a bit of a rinse. You don't need to in a life story, do you? So anyway, beer in a glass. And that, to me, is not exactly jet black, but it's got a lovely, dark, intense, uh, like, mahogany to it. If you hold it up to the light, there are some slight brown notes coming, especially around the edges of the glass. But yeah, a very dense-looking beer indeed. Didn't generate any head at all in that pour, but I'm sure there will be when I put the rest in, in a little moment. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of coffee. I love coffee. Um, we've just recently discovered the joy of grinding your own beans. And uh, I don't know what happened to my voice then. And so we've been enjoying that, which was prompted by uh, getting a free bag of coffee when I was at Starbucks in... Um, Man uh, Manchester, in Munich. Oh, Munich, you cruel mistress, you. And, uh, yeah, basically, 
before we get into the beer. I was with my dad and we both ordered a coffee and it was going to come to about nine euros. And the woman behind the counter was saying, oh, if you pay seven euros, you get your coffees for free and you get, let me just get it, uh, if I remember where I put it. And uh, yeah, we got a, a bag of beans, technically for, for free. Well, the coffees were technically for free. And this is the Cafe Verona Roasty Sweet and Dark Cacao. So um, yeah, we usually drink uh, coffee pads in the Sensio machine. So now we can drink like really high quality coffee and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, speaking of coffee, go check out Brewbox. Uh, yeah, Brewbox Berlin. Is it Brewbox Berlin? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Brewbox, Brewbox Coffee. Which, uh, shouting outside. Always good during a review. So anyway, on to the beer itself. And now there's hitting sounds outside. I can smell the coffee from here already. Oh, yeah, it's a lovely, somewhat mild coffee tones. Really nice, roasty, toasty. It plays around with those malts so beautifully. It's got this slight chocolatey edge to it. Um, I get that sort of thing when you've got a coffee with a little bit of milk in. You've let it go a little bit cold because you might have forgotten about it. You know, if you forget about coffee, then yeah, there must be something wrong with you, of course. But um, you know, no one's perfect. So when you forgot the coffee, and I find that when you have it a little bit cold, you get these slight chocolatey flavours coming through. And it's reminded me of that on the aroma. But yeah, it's not like a really strong, like, in-your-face coffee. But you can just tell from the aroma itself that whatever beans they've used and whatever, you know, coffee they have available, it's such a high-quality blend of coffee. And it, yeah, it plays in with that lovely roasty, toasty malt tone. Lovely sweetness in there, like molasses, brown sugar, that sort of thing. And then you get this slight, like, cigar, smoky, tobacco aroma in there as well, but very gentle. <sighs> yeah. I'd imagine this is what, uh, like, a businessman from the 70s, the, the businessman from, like, the 60s or something would smell like. You know, old madman and stuff. Yeah, it smells absolutely beautiful. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. You give me a good beer, you give me good coffee, put them together, and I'm a very happy chappy. This is a beautiful, beautiful coffee porter. Just like on the aroma, that coffee, you get the real quality of it. But it's not in your face. It's not too bitter. It's not too drying on the back of the palate. There's no harshness at all with this beer. Body is upper level of medium. Because I've said I've said plenty of times before, I'm not the you never usually used to be the biggest fan of porters. I'd always want to make that step to like a, a more full-bodied stout. But this has that lovely body to it. Lovely prickly carbonation as well. The mouth feels a little bit sticky, as if there might have been like molasses in there, but I don't think there has been. It's so robust, so flavourful. Nothing harsh, nothing sickly in there. Fine balance between sweet and earthy little gentle chocolatey tones in there, that beautiful coffee. I'd love to know what specific blend of coffee they've used. Because, yeah, if you can buy those beans, I want to grind them. Take that as you will. I mean, what time is it now? It's it's five to, ten, uh, five to nine, is that? Yeah, five to nine, so it's probably not the best idea to be having coffee. 
But this is just a, a beautiful beer. I mean, you could have this literally as a replacement to your coffee in the morning. And uh, yeah, very, very satisfied with this beer. Out of the three that I've had, all of them have been fantastic. This, to me, is the best that they've uh, done. And, you know, they were kind enough to give me bottles of each of them. The girlfriend's getting bored of me already. There we go. And, um, yeah, they were kind enough to give me these beers. And I really enjoyed them the first time round. Revisiting this beer for review is just so satisfying. And uh, yeah, I've generated a tiny bit of head in there. Lovely sort of tan coloured head, but... Mm, smells lovely. And you know what? It's not only the best out of the three beers that I've tried recently from Pirate Brew Berlin. But I'm going on record, and I mentioned this in the original video. I had the benchmark sort of at um, Magic Rocks. Um, what's it called? The the coffee port that they have, which is on a core range, which is like mind blowing that you get really high quality coffee porter as part of a core range. Um, free something i can't remember what it's called but beautiful beer i have reviewed it on the channel but this is at this point the best coffee porter that i've tried it's just a sheer indulgent joy to drink but it doesn't feel too heavy or sickly and that's what i love about it i love the creativity of pirate brew berlin um, even though I've only got to meet the guys once, that you know, you could just see the like the drive that they have, and the you know not only collaborating with other breweries but the collaborating with other um, industries, you know, chili sauce makers and chili growers, the you know, coffee brewers and blenders, just it's just a great thing and thankfully the beers that they produce from my very limited experience as we said have been fantastic so um yeah i can't i can't fault this beer at all i think it's absolutely beautiful and um kind of glad that i've had to revisit it so i could drink it again but i wanted to get a review out of this uh, for those guys, uh, just to show my appreciation for their kindness and the fact that they took time to talk to me. And um, yeah, I was so happy when I found out Beretta was stocking uh, some of the beers that were available at the festival, and this was there as well. And it's great to, you know, not only support my local bottle shop, but also to support the people who make the beer as well. And um, yeah, this is just. Common Grounds, that's the name of the beer. But this has definitely knocked that off the top spot for me personally. So yeah, if you uh, get the opportunity to try this one, seriously, try it. Um, if you find yourself in Berlin, I'm sure you'll be able to seek out some Pirate Brew uh, beers. Definitely worth checking out. And uh, yeah, I think you can tell that this is another 10 out of 10 beer for me. Um, I've had a lot of those this year, which is good. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it's good, but well, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that at all if I'm having 10 out of 10 beers. So of course, check out my other two Porter reviews from these guys. Check out my Pirate Brew Berlin playlist as well, even though there's only one other video of theirs in there. And uh, yeah, check out Pirate Brew Berlin. Uh, check out Dyer, I think. Uh, his name is the guy who designed the logo for these guys. Great street artist. Check out Brewbox Berlin. Um, going off this beer alone, uh, they seem to have really good coffee, which is always a plus. And uh, yeah, check out my uh, festival video and stuff like that. Links all in the description. So, thank you guys for watching this really long winded and quite rambly video. Thank you for sticking with me. 
big cheers to both Christipa and Andreas, just because they're fucking awesome people. And of course they brew fantastic beer. And hopefully you'll all join me next time for another beer review. Anyway, I've taken up way too much of your time already. Thank you for sticking with me. And hopefully you'll join me next time for another beer review. Cheers. <laughs>